I'm Jeff Minder with Victory Vets, and I'm here to talk to you about the six articles of the Code of Conduct. Now, the Code of Conduct is a legal guide for the behavior of military members who are captured by hostile forces. Its primary purpose is to help that soldier survive and return with honor, and it's a legal and moral code uh, that we can follow as, as soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines uh, in order to help us achieve that goal of surviving and returning with honor. There are six articles to the code, and my purpose here is to help the young soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marine understand the code. I haven't seen a whole bunch of information available. I know there's formal training courses, and this is not meant to replace those. This is just a quick understanding of the six articles of the Code of Conduct. We're going to talk about uh, an overview of them. I'm going to tell you about each one of them and give you a few examples of what they mean. Uh, then I'm going to review again uh, these six articles. So help you memorize uh, the code and, and hopefully at that point uh, under very stressful situations that you could find yourself in that you'll remember uh, the Code of Conduct. Now the six articles of the code are related to uh, Article 1 is to know who you are as a soldier. To carry yourself with honor, integrity, and pride. Uh, Article 2 of the code talks about not surrendering or surrendering is a last resort and our obligations as soldiers to survive and evade the enemy, be able to live off the land for instance. Uh, to escape uh, if we're captured is what Article 3 deals with. Uh, Article 4 deals with keeping faith with, with one another, with folks that you may find yourself in captivity with and this could be soldiers with airmen, with sailors and with marines all together. Uh, so we're one team, uh, remember that. Um, do no damage uh, if you're interrogated, and that would be the, the obligation to give your name, your rank, and your service number and date of birth being the things you're required uh, to give a captor, uh, nothing more, and you're to evade uh, answering any other types of questions. Uh, and the last article, the sixth article, is to remember again who we are as soldiers and, and understand that, that the country's behind us, uh, even as captives, and that we are, our obligation to survive and return with honor will always be supported uh, by this country. So Article 1 states specifically that I am an American fighting in the forces which guard my country and our way of life. I am prepared to give my life in their defense, meaning I volunteered for the United States military and I am ready and willing to go to war and I am ready and willing to die for my country. But let's not forget that the most important thing is to make the other guy die for his country. But that's Article 1 of the Code of Conduct. Article 2 states that I'll never surrender of my own free will. If in command, I'll never surrender the members of my command while they still, while they still have the means to resist. Meaning if we're throwing rocks at this point, uh, that might be down to the last of our means to resist the enemy. And at that point, our obligation is to evade capture and to escape and to live off of the land. Uh, we have to be prepared to take care of our own medical problems, to take care of obtaining food, water, shelter, and protection from the environment. We have to be prepared to do that for extended periods of time. Uh, there's training courses again for each one of these articles of the code. Again, this is a knowledge level of just uh, the understanding what the articles actually are. But regardless of the environment, the Arctic, the desert, the mountains, the tropics, we have to be prepared to survive and we have an obligation to evade the enemy uh, and to survive off the land and to make our way back uh, to friendly forces. If we fail in that event or if we find ourselves unable to escape or to evade the enemy, uh, Article 3 then addresses our issues and it states specifically if I am captured I will continue to resist by all means available. I'll make every effort to escape and to aid others to escape. I will accept neither parole nor special favors from the enemy. So this means I won't participate in propaganda. I won't take special things from the enemy where they may make it look like I'm uh, receiving preferential treatment and that would turn one of my comrades or my comrades against me and then the enemy could use that against us as a team. So again, keep in mind that you will make every effort to escape and to aid others to escape but to accept neither parole nor special favors from the enemy. If I become a prisoner of war, Article 4, if I become a prisoner of war, I will keep faith with my fellow prisoners. I will give no information or take part in any action which may be harmful to my comrades. If I am the senior ranking person, regardless of the branch of the service, if I'm the senior ranking person, I will take command. If I'm not the senior ranking person, then I will obey the lawful orders of those appointed over me. So a captain in the Air Force, and I'm a sergeant in the Army, that captain in the Air Force is my senior ranking officer.
Article 5. When questioned, should I become a prisoner of war, which I don't want to do, I have hopefully have escaped or evaded uh, capture to begin with, escaped uh, right away upon capture, uh, resisted and, and, and uh, took control of the rest of the team if I'm senior. Uh, but if I'm questioned, I'm required to give name, rank, service number, date of birth, and I will avoid answering further questions to the utmost of my ability. I will make no oral or written statements disloyal to my country and its allies or harmful for the call to the calls, regardless of the interrogation techniques used against me, regardless of the levels and types of torture used against me, I will evade giving answers to those questions. In Article 6, I will never forget that I'm an American fighting for freedom and dedicated to the principles which made my country free. I will trust in my God and the United States of America, and of course I'm responsible for my own actions. So we live that way every day as a soldier, as a sailor, as an airman, as a marine. That we're responsible for our actions, we're dedicated to the principles which has made the United States the greatest nation in the history of the world. Trust in God and the United States of America to survive and return with honor is the key. So, Articles 1 through 6, remember these quickly. Know who you are as a soldier. Never surrender. Escape if you're captured. Keep faith, take command, and, or obey your senior ranking officer. Do no damage. You're required to give your name, rank, a service number, date of birth, nothing else. Evade answering all other questions. Remember who you are as a soldier. Article 1, Article 2, Article 3, Article 4, Article 5, and Article 6 of the Code of Conduct. Return with honor. That's the objective. Shout out to the first calf.